With us going into the summer season and school soon letting out and people going camping and hiking and going on more outdoor adventures, this week's video features this plant, poison ivy, a plant that might as well be the state of Tennessee's alternate state wildflower, a plant that a lot of people hate, but unfortunately not everyone knows how to positively identify. And that's the point of this video because the children were getting scolded because at the time they were standing in a field of Virginia creeper much like this one and the mothers couldn't positively identify the plant and mistakenly thought it was poison oak. And that is the point of this video is to help people better understand what these plants look like and be able to positively identify poison oak, poison ivy, and Virginia creeper. Because if you're walking through a patch of Virginia creeper, there's nothing to stress about, unless for some reason you are highly allergic to the small amount of oxalic acid that this plant contains. I ran into a pretty good opportunity to illustrate an old rhyme and give it a context. Leaves of three, leave it be. Leaves of five, let it thrive. What this refers to is that poison oak and poison ivy, this is poison ivy as you can tell by the smoother leaves, the rounded leaves, grow in leaves of three. There's always three leaves on the shoots. Where Virginia creeper has five leaves, as you can see. Here, we find all three growing on the ground, the Virginia creeper, poison ivy, and poison oak. And poison oak is differentiated from poison ivy by the, the jagged, line, jagged leaves, where the poison ivy has smoother leaves. But their flowers are so similar I sometimes see both growing on the same vine. I think they have cross-pollinated at this point. And that we have plants that are part poison oak and part poison ivy. When you can find the two plants growing further apart, they're a lot easier to distinguish from each other. As I said, Poison oak and poison ivy always have three leaves per shoot. It's just the way it grows. Whereas Virginia creeper is usually a little bit different color, a little bit lighter to start with, and always has five leaves. One of the distinguishing features of poison ivy is the hairs on the vines that give it away. Virginia creeper vines and grape vines do not have these hairs that they use to attach to the trees. If the camera will cooperate with me here, you can see those hairs on the vines a little clearer. No other vine in this area has these hairs growing on it other than the poison ivy. Another distinguishing feature of the poison oak and poison ivy are the small green and yellow flowers at the base of the leaf shoots, which will later become toxic white berries. Thank you. 
I hope this video helps and helps the people that are allergic to the Urushiol oils and poison ivy and poison oak be able to distinguish between the toxic plants and the innocent but often maligned Virginia creeper that grows in the same environment. And I hope you can remember the rhyme, leaves of three, leave it be, and leaves of five, let it thrive. Till next time.